Yeah, so uh, I'm going to get into detecting uh, uh, programs that uh, rely on undefined behavior. So I'll start off with, uh, yeah, start off with this beam. Uh, so undefined behavior isn't bad. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why it exists in the standard, uh, but there's an issue in that it uh, has no restrictions on the programs that are made. Um, but uh, programs that start to rely on undefined behavior, uh, I'm going to say are bad, <laughs> and it's a certain class of bug. Um, and uh, it, there's a reason uh, undefined behavior is there, uh, and some of these things are uh, undecidable, and you cannot provably detect them in all instances. Um, so I'm just going to get into the true positive cases. Uh, I'm just going to talk about a couple of tools, uh, all freely available. Uh, I didn't work on them at all. Uh, some of them are open source. Uh, and it's just about uh, understanding tools more. So here's the first example, uh, just two lines of code. Um, we got a standard array. It's a nice and modern uh, arbitrary type, uh, non-zero size. Um, but we're using C out, and we're dereferencing outside of the boundaries. Um, surprisingly enough, um, there's no uh, warnings on this uh, th this exact kind of program. I guess it's not a complete program, um, but this snippet. Um, and it is relying on it in the sense that it is observable um, in the fact that this uh, the output of something that would need to be um, computed would then make it to the I.O. of the C out. Uh, so if uh, we follow the coding guide, uh, the core guidelines. We're going to end up having to fill uh, this array, and if you, if you do follow that, um, you will get a warning in release mode. Um, but I think for some people, uh, the the, um, the static analysis may not be enough, and there's a lot of cases where uh, it'll hit a boundary and it just won't report an error. Um, so here's some tools uh, that do detect it, uh, at least this kind of toy problem. Um, so clang tidy gives a nice uh, error message, um, and that's uh, like a good tool in general. Um, but then we get into some of the dynamic analysis. So we run this. Uh, if you run it in debug mode, ASAN will catch this, uh, and if you run it in release mode, uh, UV SAN will catch it. And if you put them both together, uh, both cases will be caught. Um, and then Visual Studio just has a check in this in their STL, which is nice. So I'll, come, uh, I'll give you another case. So that was a bit of a toy problem. Here's some code uh, I found um, at work. Uh, so this is a little bit more complicated, um, just a bit. So there's a struct. Um, we go from a string. We put the string uh, into this TM struct. Uh, it's a nice Linux call. Um, so the proper way of, to initialize it is the commented out bits. Um, then we call make time, which is a nice C call and uh, just to get an arithmetic type, and then we, we convert that type. Uh, and again, we just do a C out. Uh, so this is pretty tricky. Um, if you read the documenta uh, documentation, uh, which no one does, um, you know what to do. And I think it's, it, this kind of problem is listed. It's actually it's in Stack Overflow as well. Uh, but people still make this mistake. Uh, as to after STRP time, um, the object isn't fully initialized. So what ends up happening is that you call uh, make time, uh, make time reads it. It's across a link boundary, uh, and very few uh, tools end up catching it, uh, but there are a few. Um, so clang tidy will help you here. Um, the nice thing, or it's a little bit of a gray area, so it doesn't really give you the right warning. It just tells you to uh, follow um, the core guidelines, which is which is definitely the right thing to do. Um, so you initialize. Uh, temp time, you won't get UV. Um, but you do have a problem, then you're going to be wrong uh, half the time because you're supposed to set uh, daylight savings time. So this is one of those interesting cases where you don't follow this, uh, the guidelines and you might get more information um, because then you start learning that, well, why is make time uh, reading the data? It's because of this DST thing. Uh, and then it turns out uh, Valgrind is pretty good at detecting uninitialized memory. So I'll just leave you with some conclusions. Uh, you want to do as many checks, warnings, as well as your uh, static analysis or uh, dynamic analysis, different optimization levels. Clang Tidy is just great overall. Uh, Visual Studio is, is good out of the bat, but you're, you probably just need to learn um, how to, all the flags involved. And if you need any more information, uh, just go to this website. It's all up there. Thank you.